To all the assholes from high school. Wait, roll that back? Yeah, yeah, back, back. Keep going, keep going. A little more, yeah. Right there. To all the assholes from high school, thank you. Ian, thank you for making fun of me in grade school for being overweight. Because now I'm pretty sure all 70 pounds that I lost, you've gained. Alex, thank you for spreading a nasty rumor about me on Twitter. After seeing you recently, you are proof that karma is real. Margaret, thank you for telling me and everyone else that I would never get into an Ivy League school. And then when I did, you never looked me in the eye or talked to me again. Thank you. Mr. Klaus, thank you. Thank you for treating me like I was a piece of shit sophomore year and never taking me seriously. Thank you. John and Zach, we played football together and you guys made fun of me to my face when I told you I was gonna lose weight. Thank you. Thank you for not taking me seriously. As with most things in life, it usually takes time for things to show their true colors. Up until the age of around seven or eight, we're all as happy as we'll ever be. We have the innocence that all little kids are born with. But then around the age of eight or nine, the assholes start to show their true colors. And their happiness stays at 10. They get their happiness from putting other people down and making themselves feel stronger. But the happiness of everyone else, the people who are affected by the assholes, starts to go down dramatically, generally up around until the age of 20. But then, as the reality of life starts to hit and things start to show their true colors, the happiness of everyone else starts to quickly go up. But there's a steep drop off in the happiness of assholes. They realize being cool doesn't get them a job and doesn't make them successful. They start to get angry and then sad and then angry again and sad and they start to blame everyone else. And all the while the happiness of everyone else, you and me, the decent people, keeps steadily going up. We start to build a beautiful family, make money, build a career. We're decent people who treat others the way we want to be treated. The simplest rule we were all taught in grade school. Ian, Alex, Margaret, Mr. Klaus, John, and Zach, and anyone else who ever told me I couldn't do something or made fun of me. Thank you for being the pieces of the puzzle in the world that fit in just to drive other people to do great things. Thank you for inspiring people like me to make other people's lives better so they don't have to go through what I went through as a kid. For anyone out there who has an Ian or an Alex or a Margaret or a Mr. Klaus or a John or a Zach in their life, don't be the person that gets destroyed by it. Be the person that uses that as motivation to drive their ambition and drive them to accomplish things they never thought they could. Assholes have this way of convincing you and making you feel so sure that you can't do something, that they're right that they're always gonna be up here on the happiness level. But the truth is they're not. People like you and me, things might seem tough now, things might seem tough for the next five or 10 years. But if you just keep working and you just keep fighting to accomplish what you know you can and what you set out to accomplish, it will happen. And all of the assholes will be exactly where you thought they would be. No life and no real happiness. So every time you feel like you're about to quit, every time you feel like you're about to give up, remember that, if anything, do it just to make them look like what they are, assholes.